Hey, Dave here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Apache video and to see what kind of information we can extract from it and see what we can learn from what's going on here. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American attack helicopter that has a crew of a pilot and a co-pilot slash gunner. The pilot sits above and behind the co-pilot and both are able to fly the aircraft and operate the weapons systems independently. Both of the crew can also switch roles between pilot and co-pilot. TADS PINVIS is the Combined Sensor and Targeting Unit. The acronym stands for Target Acquisition and Designation Sites Pilot Night Vision System. Depending on the version of the targeting unit, it is sometimes called MTADS with the M standing for Modernized. There's also MPINVIS, also Modernized. There's a lot of symbology here, but I think it's appropriate to only point out the information that might be relevant to the video. I have left links in the description for further research into the symbology. Let's take a look. It appears to me that this video was recorded using the Pilot Night Vision System, or PINVIS. For request for West Slopes. Tango 281, taxi north of Tower 2 West Slopes, one count. 281, roger. Wow, those three really fast flying jets up there. Probably, probably some A-10s or some F-16s. Nah, I'm not looking up there. The landing went to some new safe ground, only stingers to know if there was a... Whoa, hang on a second. What just happened there? To start off with, these three objects look like jets in a triangle formation, thermal signatures emerging from the distance and quickly passing by the helicopter. The pilot and co-pilot both discuss what aircraft these might be, probably some A-10s or F-16s. As they pass, there is obvious erratic movement, almost similar to some insects. Then they immediately form back into a triangle formation and continue on. Let's explore some possibilities what these may or may not be. What made the pilots think that these were aircraft? When they first appear from the distance, they do resemble some not quite distinguishable thermal signatures that move like jets. As they quickly pass, they maintain an orb-like shape and don't take on the shape of aircraft, nor do they show propulsion from a side view. At this point, the silence from the pilots is telling, in my opinion. What would you think if you were them?
distant aircraft is noticeable by a moderate thermal signature. Depending on its direction of travel in relation to the FLIR, it can be more obvious with the heat of jets or propellers or less obvious if the propulsion system is facing away from the FLIR. I found the easiest way to identify aircraft is by observing linear travel at a consistent speed. It started off looking like faraway aircraft, but could it have just been bugs? Let's look at some examples of what bugs look like in infrared. A four point. Uh, not really. Um, the fence. If we haven't got three two by the fence, just pull whatever power is needed to clear the fence. Did you okay. see that? Right, right, right. It's all the way down the runway. Did you see that? Let's take a real good look at the bugs in infrared. The videos shown on top are at normal speed, and the videos shown on bottom are at one-third speed. I think it's easy to see from the chaotic nature and random speeds of bugs that these don't fit the description of the UAPs. How about the possibility of birds? Some birds travel in a triangular formation. Is this a feasible theory? We see linear travel, no flapping of wings, no variances in thermal signatures, no bobbing up and down in elevation. Instead, we see completely erratic movement as they change formation in ways impossible for ordinary birds. Let's compare to some other videos of birds in infrared.
What about balloons? Maybe they're just bound together by ribbon and just floating along. Not a bad thought, but unrealistic. The most common balloons are made from latex or mylar. Latex balloons are the typical party balloons you would buy in a bag. Mylar balloons are the foil balloons. Latex balloons are mostly transparent in infrared, both midwave and long wave. They would not appear as the three heat signatures shown and would certainly not be mistaken for aircraft. Mylar balloons are mostly reflective and would not show a uniform thermal signature. At night, they would show both the cold of the sky and the heat from the ground as they tumbled. Let's consider the thought they might be drones. Drones do have fantastic capabilities nowadays, for sure. However, I don't see the maneuvers these objects take to be drone-like for a few reasons, nor do I believe they are drones. For one, even at the technical level drones are at right now, I don't believe they have these aerial capabilities. Two, there doesn't seem to be any reason for these erratic maneuvers. Three, the thermal signatures do not indicate that these three objects could possibly be drones. As always, thanks for checking out my video and we will see you next time.